Greetings from Orange Bowl Stadium in Coral Gables, Florida. It's game time, presented live. Time to put on the pads and work out the rust. It's Exhibition NCAA Football. I'm Jake Sorensen with Jim Peppers. Miami comes into the game as the home team. What do you see as their strengths and weaknesses? Jake, one of the major keys of this team is their pass defense. They excel at shutting down the pass, and their opponent is likely to have problems moving the ball throughout the air today. Rutgers will be the visiting team. What can we expect from them? Jake, they could run into a brick wall when it comes to running the ball today. They are clearly outmatched, so they'll have to step it up somehow and keep the defense from keying on the pass. Great stuff, Jimmy. Let's head to midfield for the opening toss. Number 90 sets up, and we are ready for the opening kick. It's away. Number 34 has it. A 30. Number 25 comes in and makes the tackle on the return. Time for the O to get to work. Let's check it out. Ball at the 30-yard line. The pass is incomplete. Number 11 had trouble with that zone in permanent lockdown. Outstanding coverage. If he continues playing a one-man zone so well, that secondary can really topple this offensive game plan. You know, that's right. It basically erases that receiver off the blackboard totally. Ball on the 30. The Hurricanes' tight end is lined up left side. Number 11 is back to throw again. That'll bring up third and long. Number one, really socked it to them for a loss on the second down play. Let's take another look. Nice stop behind the line of scrimmage there. Super defense, Jim. It's third and 15. Number 11 drops back. Spirals it right. That'll bring up fourth and long. Number 21 managed to cut off the line from the QB to the receiver by putting his body in the path. That was crafty pass defense. There's no way the ball was getting to the receiver. I've never been afraid of a kicker. No one's afraid of a kicker. Number 13 will punt it away after a three and out. It's away. Number 32 makes the catch. Number 31 makes the tackle on the return. Well, the defense did their job and forced a three and out. Now it's the offense's turn. Ball at the 44-yard line. Nice block. No gain on the play. Carried this one off his left guard. But he's barely past the line of scrimmage before he stopped. Nine yards to go. It's second and nine. The Scarlet Knights line up with two wideouts. That'll bring up third down. It's third and five. Number 43 is the lone setback. Number 12 fades back. He's pressured. Short throw down the middle. Number 82 was the intended receiver. Incomplete. Number 12 thought he could hit his man with only one defender, but that secondary had him locked up tighter than my mother-in-law's pocketbook. 
Number 13 is ready to punt after a quick three and out. There's the punt. Number 34 fields it. Number two makes the stop on the return. They've got the ball. Let's see if they can take care of business. Ball on the 26. The Hurricanes set up with their tight end on the right. Number 11 drops back, throws. Penalty flag down. Let's find out what it's for. Offense. The Hurricanes penalty. will go back to square Repeat, one because of that penalty. Down. All that hard work gone to waste. Ball at the 16-yard line. Number 76 gets set after committing the penalty. Lateral. The 30. The 40, the 45, he slices his way through the defense for a big gain and the first down. first down. Number two makes a beautiful jump to hop free of trouble. Almost got enough of him to haul him down, but his leap was perfectly timed and he got away scot-free. The Hurricanes, with a nice run on the last play, will have a first down. Number two lines up behind the quarterback. Number 11 fades back. Bro, the pass is no good, incomplete. Number five couldn't get to it. Oh, the quarterback let him just a bit too much. That's a frustrating play. Second and 10. Number 11 from shotgun. Throws left. That'll bring up third and about a foot. Nice pass. And that will make this third down a whole lot easier coming up here. One yard to go. Third and about a foot. No first place. Down. Number seven will sit this play out. He laterals. He's brought down by the D, but got enough to convert on third down and short and move the chain. Got a couple there and picked up the first. Nice run. Ball on the 41. The Hurricanes line up with three wideouts. Number 11 from the gun. Rose. Incomplete. Boy, somebody wasn't where they were supposed to be. That pass was way off the radar screen. I know. What happened there? Some serious miscommunication, I'm thinking. Ball at the 41-yard line. The Hurricanes are in the I formation. Number 11 will throw once again. This is right. Number four makes the stop. They toss this one right side and get the completion for several yards. Not enough for the first, but still a nice gain. Two yards to go. It's third and two. Number 82 is off the right tackle. The 20, the 15. The five, and touchdown. Number 11 sees his routes shut down. Number 16 sets up the extra point. It's up. 16, tacks on the extra point. Miami puts up the first points of the game. They lead 7-0. Number 16 sets up and will kick it away. 
There's the kick. Number 32 fields it deep. Number 45 will make the tackle on the return. First down. Anything can still happen in this game, folks. Let's see if they can take it back down the field with a touchdown of their own here. Ball on the 29. Number 12 steps back, spirals it left. Incomplete pass. Number 82 got to the outside like he wanted, but then missed the catch and couldn't capitalize on it. Second and 10. Number 99 makes the tackle to hold him to a short gain of a few. Only yielded a couple on that play, and they will have a ways to go to move the chains. Third and eight. Number 12 drops back, dumps it off. It's tipped. It'll be fourth and long. Number six positioned himself perfectly to act as a human fence between the quarterback and the receiver and cause the incompletion. Very impressive. Number 13 will punt it away after a three and out. Good punt here. Number 34 catches it. Number 25 comes in and makes the tackle on the return. Last time out, these boys went straight down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can repeat that performance. Ball at the 30-yard line. Number 11 from shotgun. Throws. He's taken down but gets the first down by a couple of chain links. Number nine makes a great catch despite being in a zone that was more crowded than a bar on nickel beer night. Watch this one. How he reeled that in, I'll never understand. Why he got that pass, I'll never understand. There were three guys covering it. Hey, remember when you were young enough to think that throwing into triple coverage was a good idea? <laughs> I do, almost. Ball on the 41. Down. Number nine lines up wide right. Number 11 will put it up again. Tosses middle. Number 9 was the intended receiver on that play. Incomplete. Number 11 thought he had a good read, but he didn't count on such great zone coverage. Terrific coverage, Jim. It was only single zone, but it was effective. Yeah, give that defender a pat on the back. He did a great job. Second and 10. the tackle credit him with number three for the game number two looked to be all bottled up but found a way to get out of danger watch this one folks he spins away from the tackler just in the nick of time jim talk about your cliffhangers he's a great young player and a terrific athlete as we can see there yeah with footwork like that i'm surprised he didn't minor in dance it's third and two Number two is lined up behind the quarterback. That'll bring up fourth and about a foot. That play was supposed to go through the three gap, but he tried to venture out of his own and got nowhere. Well, you got to follow your blocking patterns. It's the end of the first quarter. Miami is currently enjoying the lead by a small margin, but it's anybody's game. 7-0. It looks like they'll go for it on fourth and about a foot. Laterals. Big fourth down play, and they convert. Nice effort, and they'll get a new set of downs.
Number two got the football and was not going to be denied. Watch here as he crosses the marker for the first. Given the score, would you have gone for it there, Jim? Ooh, definitely a high risk call, but sometimes you have to trust your gut feeling. A game can turn on one play, and that may have been it. The Hurricanes have a first down after the big fourth down conversion. The Hurricanes are in the shotgun. Number 11 from the gun. Bro. Caught sideline. A gain of eight. Number 23 makes the biggest tackle in the game so far. When we say stop here, I want to show you something. Ball at the 39-yard line. Number five is wide right. Gets a block. Number two with the carry. Number one breaks through and takes the runner down in the backfield for a small loss. Oh, my. Nice play by the defense. They picked the runner up quickly and stopped him in his tracks. Third and four. Number two gets it again. Great looking run to the outside. First down. Number two makes a no frills run here, but I like that. He knows his job, and that job is getting the run. Ball on the 32. Number two lines up behind the quarterback. Number 11 from shotgun. Short throw down the middle. He's tackled, and that's his second catch of the day. Number nine had two guys in his face there and came away with the football. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at the accuracy on this drive. He's really in the zone right now. You know, it's hard to beat that kind of completion percentage. Number nine is to the left. Number 11 will pass again. Throws. A gain of 19. Number 11 makes a really nice throw here in tight man-to-man -man coverage. Watch, right by the defender. Good coverage, Jim. How hard is it to defend against a pass like that? Well, I don't think he could have done any better. It was just a great throw. First and goal. Number seven will sit this play out. Number two will run it, and he's in for the touchdown. touchdown. Number 16 lines up for the point after. It's away. 16 adds the extra point. Miami makes it a two-score game. They are now up 14-0. Number 16 lines up, signals, and we're ready for the kickoff. Got his leg behind this one. Number 32 catches it deep. Number 49 makes the tackle on the return. First this offense is really going to start hearing it from the crowd if they don't get something going soon. Can you believe they still have not recorded a first down on any of their possessions? Ball at the 25-yard line. The Scarlet Knights line up with their tight end left. Number 12 takes back. His pressure dumps it off. Penalty marker down on the play. Let's listen to the call. First down at the spot of the foul.
the Scarlet Knights will have the first down off the penalty. Number 51 gets set after committing the penalty. Number 12 from the gun. He's pressured. Throws middle. Incomplete pass. Number 25 managed to cut off the line from the QB to the receiver by putting his body in the path. That was crafty pass defense. There's no way the ball was getting to the receiver. Second and 10. Number 94 makes the stop before he could get very far. The runner didn't get very far as he gets stuffed after maybe a yard or less. Boy, this old line is really getting pushed around early in the game. They need to regroup or it's going to be a long day for their running backs. It's third and nine. The Scarlet Knights are going with a two tight end set. Number 12 steps back. He's pressured, sits tight, throw. It'll be fourth and short. Nice, nice gain on that play, Jake, but not enough to move the markers, and they will be looking at fourth down here. Number 13 sets up for his third punt of the game. It's away. Number 34 has it. The 40, 45. Number 34 picked up some decent yardage before running out of bounds. Nice return. Boy, I'll tell you what, Jake. If they can put some more points on this board before the half, they can take a comfortable lead into the locker room. Big drive here. Ball on the 45. Number two with the carry. No gain on the play. Took the handoff and went right up center. But there wasn't much room past the line of scrimmage on that one. Ball at the 45-yard line. We have a penalty marker on the play. Let's get the call from the field. Number nine penalty. draws an obvious foul Repeat for offensive holding. Down. Does this guy not realize that those guys in the black and white stripes are paid to watch for shenanigans like that? Hello? The clock shows a minute 29 seconds left. Number nine will sit down after committing the foul. That'll bring up third and very, very long. That play was drawn up to go out the five gap. But he strayed too far left and his blockers were no longer there. Well, you've got to follow the flow of the play. Third and 18. The Hurricanes have two receivers in. Number 11 drops back, sits in the pocket, crosses middle. Number 21 makes the hit. They dump off over the middle and complete the pass for a good gain, but they were in the hole to begin with, and it's not going to be enough for the first down. Number 13 comes into punt after a three and out. It's off. Number 32 makes the catch. Number six makes the stop on the return. Whoa, oh, take a look at special teams coverage on the punt. Simply outstanding. He gets the ball and then boom, he's taken down before he could get anywhere. That's just fantastic coverage. He really didn't even have a chance at any kind of a return. <laughs> Just enough time for a play or two. Let's see what they decide to do in these last seconds of the half. 30 on the game clock. Number 12 from shotgun. Pro. The pass is incomplete. Number 36 used his body as a shield to force that incompletion, and that's not as easy as he made it look. He had to make the read, react, then get to the right position to prevent the ball from getting to its target. Second and ten. Number 12 is back to throw again. He throws left. Number 58 makes the tackle. That's number two on the day. They toss this one out left. And completed for a handful. Boy, not enough for the first, however, and we'll be seeing third down right here. 
It's third and about three. Number 85 lines up off left tackle. Number 12 will put it in the air again. He's pressured. Number 95 makes a nice defensive play. He drops him for a loss in the backfield. It's the end of the first half. Miami is currently in control of this game. They lead their opponent 14-0. Number 95 punches through his man like he was wallpaper and gets to the quarterback and then inflicts some real pain. I thought their protection scheme was pretty sound, but they were able to just blow through. Just like his daddy taught him. <laughs> just got to want it more than the other guy, that's all. Number 16 is ready for the second half kickoff. It's away. Number 31 gets it off the bounce. Number 6 will make the tackle on the return. They place the ball. They are down a bit, but they have plenty of time to work with. That being said, they would love to put some points up on the board this drive and keep it from getting away from them. Ball on the 15. The Scarlet Knights are going with their tight end right. He's pressured, spirals at middle. The pass falls incomplete. Number 85 had his turf in the middle, but the pass just didn't come together. He really has to be the guy who his quarterback can rely on to make those. Ball at the 15-yard line. Number 12 will throw once again. Short throw down the middle. That will fall incomplete, and that's their second in a row. Number 82 didn't have a chance on that one. You make it very tough on your man when you throw it behind him like that. <laughs> well, I'm sure he didn't do it on purpose. His arm just needs a little tweaking. Third and 10. The Scarlet Knights line up with a single setback. Number 12 steps back. He's pressured. Throw. It falls incomplete again, and that's three in a row. Not much luck with the pass here. Number 6 positioned himself perfectly to act as a human fence between the quarterback and the receiver and cause the incompletion. Very impressive. Number 13 is ready to punt after a quick three and out. Gets off a good one. Number 34 fields it. There's a penalty marker on the play. Let's listen into the call. Holding. The Hurricanes worked hard for that Defense. stop, only to have it negated by a penalty. Man, penalty. that's got to hurt. First down. They are playing all the winning cards so far, and with the ball back, they can continue their winning hand. Ball on the 36. Number two with the ball off the left guard. A gain of eight. This O line has been opening up some nice holes in the middle these past few plays. That's why I like that last run. Keep attacking the center of the line until they can stop you. It's second and two. Number two is lined up behind the quarterback. Lateral. Takes it outside for about three, and that's good enough for the first. Got a couple there and pick up the first. Nice run. Ball at the 47-yard line. A loss of two. Excellent pursuit to the outside by the D. They really showed their speed by closing all of the lanes down before the runner could see any daylight to cut to. Ball on the 45. Number 11 drops back. Throw. They made the tackle, but he was able to get his third reception of the game. Good completion, and that will put them in a manageable third and short situation. Three yards to go. Outstanding protection for this quarterback today. He's had plenty of time to sit back and pick and choose his targets at will. 
Number nine lines up wide right. He laterals. Number 23 takes him down quick. I don't think he got much, maybe a yard or two. That was designed to go through the two gap, but he took it way, way left of that. Well, you're not going to pick up many yards when you're not following the blocking. They're going for it on fourth and one. Number one made a drive-stopping tackle there, forcing the turnover on downs. Great job, and his offense heads on the field. Number one makes a huge... The offense takes the field after a great defensive stop. Let's see if the offense can get some points out of it now. Ball at the 48-yard line. The Scarlet Knights are going with four wideouts. Number 12 from the gun. He's pressured. Number 99 gets through for the sack. Nice play. Number 99 not... It's second and about 17. Number 12 fades back. Pitches it. It'll be third and a long way to go. Number 17 drives them back on second down. Let's see that one again. That can't be good for the old self-esteem. Boy, it really puts him behind the eight ball for third down here. <laughs> It's third and 25. Number 12 from shotgun. Throws right. That'll bring up fourth and very, very long. Number 36 managed to cut off the line from the QB to the receiver by putting his body in the path. That was crafty pass defense. There's no way the ball was getting to the receiver. Number 13 will punt it away after a three and out. There's the punt. Number 34 catches it. Number two with the tackle on the return man. They had him sewn up tight, almost allowing no time for a return. There's the hit. That's some heads up coverage by the punt squad. Ball on the 30. Number one came up with a stop, his fifth today. Boy, the D played that one perfectly. They plugged up the middle and sealed the runner off before he could even get to the line of scrimmage. Excellent play. Ball at the 27-yard line. The Hurricanes have three wideouts on the field. Number 11 from the gun. Rose, it'll be third and long. Number 11 looked a little jumpy there and overthrew his receiver. It's third and about 13. The Hurricanes line up in the eye. Number 11 will put it up again. Dumps it off. Fourth and long coming up. Number 9 was open over the middle. No excuses for not getting a completion there. Number 13 comes into punt after a three and out. Nice punt. Number 32 has it. Number six comes in and makes the tackle on the return. Let's see if this offense can put something together after the defense had them a three and out. Ball on the 35. He's pressured. Throws middle. 
Number 85 was looking for the ball, but it falls incomplete. Number 51 used his body as a shield to force that incompletion, and that's not as easy as he made it look. He had to make the read, react, then get to the right position to prevent the ball from getting to its target. Second and 10. The Scarlet Knights have two 10s in. Number 12 steps back. Pro. Incomplete. Number 82 had the ball in his sights, but the pass went way behind him. Third and 10. Number 12 will pass again. Toss is middle. Incomplete. Jake, I think the coach will probably scratch that play for this game. They tried the same thing twice and came up with incompletions. Number 13 is ready to punt after a quick three and out. It's away. Number 34 makes the catch. Flag on the play. Let's get the call. Holding. Offense. The Scarlet Knights will see that big play evaporate before their very eyes thanks to that one penalty. Boy, take a bow, genius. Number 13 will punt it away after a three and out. Good punt here. Number 34 fields it. Number three makes the tackle on the return. They're going to start at midfield. Terrific field position. It sure makes it easier to score when you get to play half the field, Jake. Ball at the 50-yard line. Number one applies the brakes yet again. His sixth tackle. The defense really strutted their stuff on that run there. They showed both their speed and tackling ability by shutting down the outside and bringing the runner down for a loss. It's the end of the third quarter. Miami is serving up the shutout 14-0. Ball on the 48. Number two gets it again. Heads one side. Number two with the stop after several on the play. Third down. Six yards to go. It's now third and six. Number two lines up behind the quarterback. Number 11 drops back. It's tipped. That'll bring up fourth down. They were all over that pass, Jake. I'm just surprised they couldn't pick it off. I mean, they were right there. Take a look at the average starting field position today. It certainly gives you an advantage when you've got a short field to work with. Number 13 comes into punt after a three and out. Number 32 catches it. Number 32 runs out at the end of the return. It's their turn on offense. Let's see what they do. Ball at the 34-yard line. The Scarlet Knights line up in shotgun formation. Number 12 from shotgun. Short throw down the middle. Number 25 makes the tackle. Nice gain on first down. Well, I can't stress how big an advantage it is when you can get good positive yardage on first down. It's second and about three. Number 82 is wide right. 
Third and short coming up. Only yielded a couple on that play, but they are very close to the first. Let's see if they can pick it up. One yard to go. Third and one. Number 17 takes him down for a loss of yardage. Way to stay aggressive on defense. Number 17 makes a nice tackle that could have huge ramifications for this game. Take Number 13 is ready to punt after a quick three and out. It's off. Number 34 has it. Number two makes the stop on the return. Time for some clock management, Jake. They're in a great position to cruise to the finish line. Ball on the 33. Oh, great block. 55 stops that play in its tracks after only a couple of yards picks up a few there it may not look like much but getting those early yards makes second and third downs immensely easier ball at the 36 yard line but not before he records his fourth wrap of the game. Number nine makes a great catch despite being in a zone that was more crowded than a bar on nickel beer night. Watch this one. How he reeled that in, I'll never understand. Why he got that pass, I'll never understand. There were three guys covering him. Hey, remember when you were young enough to think that throwing into triple coverage was a good idea? <laughs> I do, almost. Ball on the 46. Number nine lines up left. Number 11 is back to throw again. Spirals in middle. The D closes in and makes the stop, but that's reception number seven. Number nine makes the catch in what looked to be nearly impossible triple coverage. Let's watch that again. Somehow, this ball makes it into his hands and he locks on. He took an awful big risk throwing into that kind of coverage, Jim. I'd call it insane, Jake. They should consider themselves lucky that it didn't get picked off. Although I'm not discounting a great catch by the receiver. Ball at the 41-yard line. Number nine lines up wide right. Room on the right side. The 25. Big time run. Gets the first down and more on that nice sprint. Number two made a tremendous run here. The yards just keep coming. Finally, they bring him down. Fantastic effort, Jim. Mm -hmm. You can see that it's going to take more than arm tackles to bring him down. He's an absolute load. Number two is lined up behind the quarterback. Number 92 barges through and makes a nice tackle to force the loss. Rutgers exercises their first time out. Wow, the D closed that one down in a hurry. They got the penetration, closed the middle, and shut the ball carrier down for a loss. Super play. It's second and about 13. Number 11 from the gun spirals it left. A gain of 15. Number 11 throws into double coverage like it's no biggie. There's the gun. The Hurricanes continue to move the ball downfield. That's their fourth first down on this drive. Number seven will sit this play out. 
Number two will run it. Number 92 makes that tackle his fourth. Rutgers will take a timeout, and that will be their second. Gain just a couple of yards there. Well, it's not much, but it sure makes play calling easier when you can get positive gains on first down. One minute, 33 seconds remaining. The Hurricanes line up with two wideouts. Number one applies the stopper, his seventh tackle of the game. Number one delivers a key stop behind the line of scrimmage that stops this play cold. Let's go to the tape right there, a key stop. Yeah, and some deft moves there as he made his way to the ball carrier. It's third and nine. Don't give up the pass. The Hurricanes go with the I formation. That'll bring up fourth and long. This was designed to go way out to the six gap, but he tried to go somewhere else, and look what happened. It's all about following your blockers. Number 16 lines up for the field goal. the kick and the kick is good he's automatic from that range and puts three on the board number six Miami after the score have a comfortable lead 17 0 number 16 is back to kick it away Gets his foot into it, and this is a nice kickoff. Number 32 fields it in the end zone. Number 6 will make the tackle on the return. First Another turn at offense for this group, and unfortunately, this game is pretty much over. They should just try to get some yards for respect at this point. 32 seconds left. The Scarlet Knights have one man back. He's pressured. Short throw to the right. Incomplete pass. Number 82 was a yard short and a day late on that pass. It was just too far in front of him to be catchable. Twenty-seven seconds to go. Number 12 fades back. He's pressured. Bro. Tip. Incomplete. They've missed their target on consecutive plays. Number 82 couldn't make the catch, Jake, although he looked ready for it. Some wires got crossed there. That ball was significantly to the right of where the receiver was. Third and 10. Number 12 will put it in the air again. Dumps it off. Nice pickup on the third and long, and he gets the first down easily. First down. Makes the completion. Let's see that again. A decent throw. You make those consistently, and you're one of the top generals in the NCAA. Absolutely. He's accurate, and he's got some firepower behind that arm. On the 37. Number nine will sit this play out. Spikes this one and stops the clock. Second down. Ten yards to go. Just 11 seconds remaining. Number 12 from shotgun. Throws middle. That'll bring up third and long. Number 12 looked a little jumpy there and overthrew his receiver. Third and 10. Number 12 will throw once again. He's pressured. Throw. It's tipped. Number nine was the intended receiver, but the pass is off the mark and falls incomplete. Their passing game has been an unnatural disaster today. 
They're going for the first down on fourth and ten. The Scarlet Knights have their tight end to the left. Number 12 steps back. Fumble. Miami has it. Number 95 is brought down after making a fantastic play to scoop up the fumble. Jake, let's check out the replay here and see if we can narrow down what caused the fumble. Ah, there's the impact. 